<laughs> there we go. Hi everyone, Emma here. Um, I'm gonna talk about how everyone's too goddamn sensitive. Let's get started. Um, first of all, I want to talk about how I've just seen a lot of posts on Tumblr mostly and also occasionally a few videos on YouTube talking about how we're suddenly getting offended by the smallest insignificant things. The smallest insignificant things. And I'm not trying to say that these things aren't small when someone else looks at it, but I think that in the long spectrum of things, if we really want change to happen, it's insignificant. And I'm really just pointing this out mostly because I feel like we've become a world that if someone even mentions an opinion, a very small opinion, even if it's just a fleeting idea, we get offended instantaneously. Like, satire doesn't even exist anymore it's like what you say you mean and because you said it it's hurting my feelings boohoo and i'm mostly just saying this because really are we really that sensitive i mean don't get me wrong i'm a pretty sensitive and empathetic person but really um, I recently just watched a video entitled Welcome to Tumblr, and I have to admit it is a very good satire of it, of what it's like to be a user on Tumblr, that a lot of people think that it's okay to do certain things and that Tumblr comes off at this as this very, oh, we're very for equality, and if you want to be what you can be whoever you want to be and no one will judge you but at the same time there are many users there that do judge you and even if you have your own opinion that may not necessarily be what is accepted widely in like in the whole you get criticized for it and for a place that is supposed to be for equality? Uh, really? Um, there's, I think in the end, it's sort of like, in the end, I think it's just, there really is no equality. There is no way to truly have equality. There is literally going to be no way to have true balance in the world. And I think that, in all honesty, if we really do want to fight for equality, first of all, we shouldn't get offended at every little thing that's poked fun at us. What we should do is focus on the bigger things in life and do it for the better, as opposed to just finding things that seem to be on the surface mean spirit mean spirited or mean um and in all honesty maybe because i am a cis woman who is pansexual blah 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 i don't get offended i didn't get offended by the welcome to tumblr because the satire is there for a reason it's to poke fun at the fact that we're out on the tumblr in the tumblr community we are so high and mighty trying to be equal, but at the same time, we bring down everyone who is considered not different. Like, you literally have to be your own special, unique butterfly to fit in when it comes to Tumblr. When I think... Tumblr is supposed to be a place where we can come together and set aside the differences, set aside the fact that we have baggage and express ourselves artistically and creatively and just be ourselves. 
And even if I was, like, a white male who identifies as being male with a penis in my pants, I would want that too. I would want equality. I would want to be able to say, hey, this is my opinion, and um, who wants to have a discussion with me? Or I want to role play as a certain character. Help me out with this character because maybe it'll turn into something more than just a character role play blog. You know, like, I think Tumblr and the world in general has become far too sensitive. Literally every little thing has become something that we are in uproar about. I mean, literally one tweet became a really big deal when it came to Justin Bieber's arrest, for example. And everyone is just way too goddamn sensitive. And, and I'm not trying to say this because I agree that Justin Bieber should be free or that Justin Bieber should stay in jail for the rest of his life. I'm just saying this on all sorts of accounts that the world in general has just gotten too damn sensitive. And this is coming from someone who cried at Spider-Man 3. So there's my perspective from it. <laughs> I can't believe I just said that I cried during Spider-Man 3. Good Lord. But seriously, guys, we're too goddamn sensitive. And I am totally okay with hate mail coming at me saying that I am anti-trans, I'm anti-whatever, because my stance is I believe in equality for all. And if that means that I state my opinion in that I believe we're too sensitive and that we should just let it go, I think that should be the environment that we live in. In a place where, as I am understanding, a place where we can just express our opinions for the good, the bad, and in between. Now, I'm not trying to say this in a way that I am saying, yes, let's make fun of these minorities more. Nonsense. I'm saying that we need to recognize satire when it's presented to us. While I will admit that the Welcome to Tumblr video is a bit over-exaggerating certain points, but I will admit if you compare how the animator has done his other videos, for example, Welcome to YouTube, Welcome to Facebook, Welcome to Twitter, the format is similar. So, in conclusion, that is his style of satire, and we as a community have become far too sensitive, and what we need to do is put on our big boy and girl and sis and whatever you identify as pants on, and shut the fuck up, because it's satire. It's supposed to make us look at ourselves and realize Maybe we aren't who we say we are and change for the better. That's really all I have to say about that. And in all honesty, if this gets me hate, if this gets me praise, I honestly don't care. What I care about is that my opinion is put outright and I'm going to let you know that this is, this is what I believe. And if you guys want to proclaim that I am anti-whatever, 
go for it. Because I'm not. I'm my opinion stands is that we have become sensitive, far too sensitive, and we need to look at ourselves and realize that if we are going to just be over dramatic drama queens, there are going to be people out there that will point at us and say that we're drama queens. And a self and as a self-proclaimed drama queen, we just need to get over it, flip our hair, and move forward. But also at the same time realizing eh, there are some things that we do overreact to. And maybe there needs to be some change. Will there be change? I have no idea. But I'm hoping that with the posting of this video, some things will be cleared up, at least on my opinion of those certain things. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, if you're on YouTube, leave a comment below. And if you're on Tumblr, my ask box is not too far away. It's just a click or two away. Bye, guys.